Uh, so I was really cramped. Uh, I had to study for a calculus exam last night, so this didn't necessarily get done well. Uh, but let's just see how it goes, okay? Um, well, basically, as a kid, I watched Star Wars a lot, and uh, I definitely loved seeing all the different kinds of robots there. So now that I want to be a doctor, uh, I thought about looking into robots in medicine, and you definitely see them in the hospitals all the time. So I thought that'd be a good topic. Um, I also heard about a woman in New Jersey who had a kidney transplant operation done by a robot. Well, except there was a live surgeon that powered the robot, so they did it together. Um, First, though, there are orderly robots that, uh, well, they carry stuff around the hospital, basically. Um, oh, here's a picture of one. Uh, it's it's kind of like a square R2-D2, as you can see. Um, Mar Mark Weigel says these robots are uh, fast and efficient, and they save hospitals a ton of time. So, obviously, that's important. Uh, they use invisible light beams to get around. Uh, these beams are called light whiskers. Uh, but because they're invisible, I actually can't show you a picture of them, unfortunately. But um, I'm sure they look really cool still. Uh, I can tell you, though, the robots communicate with each other uh, so they can actually figure out how to get around the hospital efficiently. Um, the next robot is uh, the remote presence robots, and they are different than orderly robots. Uh, they actually let doctors see patients, and that's when the doctor isn't there. Uh, normally they can, obviously, but when the doctor's not there, they can still communicate. The doctor uses a camera to see the patient, and then the patient can see the doctor on the screen, and actually you can see from these photographs uh, that this is a remote presence robot, kind of like uh, Skype on wheels, so they can communicate. Um, these robots are actually really popular right now as well. Uh, I found a magazine article called Hospital Management, and it said that remote presence robots are used in hundreds of hospitals. So obviously there is a trend in using these machines, and it's uh, quite useful. Um, my favorite robot, though, is the Da Vinci. It's named after the famous Italian painter, uh, it's used for surgeries. Uh, I actually had a picture specifically of the robot, uh, but I couldn't find it uh, this morning when I double checked, and obviously uh, I'm here now and didn't have time. Uh, but the, the, it's definitely cool, the robot, and it's got uh, a lot of arms, and it uh, kind of looks like an octopus, um, like Dr. Octopus almost, and it basically uh, is the surgery machine. Uh, according to an article I read, the doctor moves the arms from the terminal using a kind of uh, a controller, and he actually uses like 3D imaging as well, so it's sort of like playing uh, Xbox or Halo on a 3D TV. So it's probably fun, but the doctor himself doesn't ever touch the patient. Uh, only the robot touches the patient. In conclusion, that's my speech. Uh, I hope you see why I find robots so interesting. Um, they're definitely changing medicine, and I'm sure they will all the way into the future for years to come. Um, thanks for listening.